And I'm Claire. And we're your anchors for BTV. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Today is Monday, March 14th. It is National Pi Day named, named because the date is 3, 314, just as Pi is 3.14. Here's a video that explains Pi. This is First, we'll draw a perfect circle, and then its diameter. If we take the diameter to equal one unit, then measuring the circumference will give us pi. In school, we learned that pi is equal to the circumference over the diameter. So we'll take a look at the circle again. And we have a diameter of 1. And measuring the circumference is 3.14159 and so on, which is equal to pi. Now we can take any size circle and measure their circumference diameter ratio. And we see that we always get the constant pi. Regardless of size, pi is going to be the constant of any circle that exists. Today's lunch menu is buffalo chicken pizza, hamburger or cheeseburger, popcorn chicken salad, turkey and cheese sandwich, baked beans, and spicy oven baked fries. In national news, scientists in Japan have discovered a new strain of bacteria that can eat plastic. This could help the growing po problem of, po of pollution. The bacteria could eat the other 14% of the plastic we don't use. Scientist Emily Cole has developed a new way for technology to convert carbon dioxide into a useful chemical. The carbon dioxide comes from industrial plants and manufacturing sites, compressed in pipelines, and injected into rock formations underground. A company called Liquid Light adds combinations of water, sunlight, and electricity and other chemicals to make useful chemicals with the carbon dioxide. In the future, the chemicals could potentially replace them. The petroleum and plastic bottles, facial creams, antifreeze, and carpets. It can reduce costs of manufacturing products and be better for the ecosystem, reducing the amount of waste products and putting it into something useful. And now to Madeline with the sports and weather update. 64 and a low of 50 degrees with light showers. Sports facts. The Boston Celtics have won the most NBA championships. Sports news. Spring sports tryouts begin today. Now here's Jacob with an interview with Montreal Hall. I'm Jacob I'm here with Montreal, the champion of his weight class. So how does it feel to be the champion of your weight class? Uh, I feel pretty good. I'm the first person that I've that ever uh, won a champion. So this is our first meet that I won and it feels pretty good. So how many losses did you have this season? I only had two losses. And how hard was it for you to be a champion of your weight class? Uh, it's it's pretty hard because like you got like you got it all starts to like uh in practice and then you got like work hard in practice and then you start like uh do you start start getting better and you gotta ask questions. Don't be scared like to ask questions. Well, thank you for being here. And now back to the BTV crew. Thank you, Makai and Jacob. Elite Gaming Live Club will be meeting on the following dates, tomorrow, April 7th, and April 19th. This is for people who have signed up for the club. On Wednesday, on Wednesday March 16th, the Student Council is hosting a movie night in the, LGI, in the LGI room at 4. The movie features Hotel Transylvania 2. Don't forget to, let, to collect change for pennies for patients. The final day of collecting is this Friday. Sure seeing back. No slipstick contains fish scales. On this day in history, in 1879, Albert Einstein was born. Riddle of the day, house has four walls. All the walls are facing south, and a bear is circling the house. What color is the bear? I don't know. What? All walls are facing south, and the house is on the north pole, so the bear is white. Quote of the day, Napoleon Hill once said, The starting point of all achievement is desire. Now to Mr. Landers with the rest of your morning ads. Happy Pi Day, Bruins. Good morning, Belzer Middle School. This is Mr. Landers here with a couple important announcements. First off, reminder, reading logs are due tomorrow, so make sure you get those completed and turned in. Now, for 8th graders, this is a very important announcement. 21st Century Scholars, 
Everybody in our building that's eligible should be completing this. However, eighth graders, you've only got a couple months left. After that, you can't fill it out. So you get to high school, you get to college. Unfortunately, it's not paid for anymore. So if you are eligible, you need to go online to scholars.in.gov. If you can't remember that, just Google 21st Century Scholars. It'll take you to the website. It's very easy. Do it with your parent or guardian. Make sure you get that done here before the end of school. And the final big update reminder, scheduling sheets. There are still over 180 eighth graders that have not turned in their scheduling sheets for next year. If you do not get that to me with the next couple days, guess what happens? LC picks your classes for you. And where do they pick your classes? The, where they have space, the classes that nobody else wants. I don't want that for you, so make sure you get that turned in. If you plan on going to another school, please let me know so I can notify them. All right, Belzer, have a great week.